welcome to Style by Toya channel. My name is Tioma. If it's your first time on this channel, you're welcome. I am super excited to have you here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you will be notified. To my returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for always stopping by. I am grateful. So today, I'm going to show you how to cut and sew a waterfall jacket or a grape jacket. Honestly, I don't know what it's called, but that's the picture on the thumbnail. I promise it's going to be a very simple and easy tutorial. So let's get to the cutting table. But before we go, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share this video, and don't forget to leave a comment. Okay. I'm working with uh, this stretchy fabric. It stretches this way and stretches more this way. It's two and a half yards. Okay, I also have a bias tape with me. And to cut out this jacket, I'll be working with my basic bodice block pattern. So the length of the jacket is 41 inches, including the shoulder seam allowance and the hemming allowance. So I've gone ahead to mark out 15 inches. As you can see, that's the line you are seeing. So this 15 inches uh, uh, space I left is for is to create that waterfall effect you are seeing at the front of the jacket, okay? So I placed my pattern on the 15 inches line, this way. So please, for the 16, uh, 15 inches, is not constant. You can work with the biggest part of your body. It can be your hip, waist, bust. My, my biggest part of my body is uh, my hip. My hip is divided a, uh, into four, which gives me, is 44, divided into four, which gives me 11 inches. But because I felt that that 11 inches is too small, I increased to 15 inches. So please note that, note that uh, to break your, this, your space, you have to work with the biggest part of your body. If you feel that the biggest part of the body is too small, you can increase to any inches that you want. So I place my center front pattern on the at 15 inches line this way. I mark out my shoulder, my armhole. Then the half length I'm using for the back and the front is 17 and a half inches. I'm using the same half length for my back and front just because the jacket is a free jacket. Please note that. Okay, so I mark out my Bust, my bust is uh, 40 inches divided by 4 will give me 10 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance will give me 11 inches, okay? Um, that's my half length line. I mark my round waist. My round waist is 34 inches divided by 4 will give me 8.4 and 8.5 plus 1 inch seam allowance will give me 9.5. Remember that this jacket, is, this fabric is stretchy, okay? It's still going to be very free. So for the hip, my hip depth is 8 inches. I place my round hip measurement divided by, my, my round hip, my hip measurement is a 44, divided by 4 will give us a 11 and a half, 11 inches rather, plus 1 inch seam allowance, that is 12. That 12, I mark the 12, and I also mark 12 at uh, the down part of the jacket, okay? So I have marked out my measurements, as you can see, I hope you can see the line. Coming to the neck, I did not come, uh, cover out the neck. I'm going to leave the neck this way. It's only the back I'm going to, you know, cut. So I will go now and cut out the pattern, then I'll show you how to creates your water for effects okay
So I will open up the neck part on the shoulder. That's the front uh, part of the jacket, as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place my ruler on this uh, 15 inches line. That is from the down part. See where I'm placing my ruler. I hope you're seeing it. See where my ruler is. I'm going to draw a line from that point up to the upper part of the jacket to this part okay so I'll, I'll place the ruler with this and mark okay hope you have seen it let me adjust my camera Okay, so I'm going to be cutting out this part. This part is going off, giving this side. I also cut out my shoulder slants. Okay, so this is it. The center front neck is going to be straight. There won't be any corner core. So this is the part. Uh, I'm going to hold this shoulder like this. Then the neck uh, part will fall this way okay so let me cut out this part and i'll show you Cutting straight. I'm not going to curve it. But if you want your own to be curved, you can go ahead and do that. Okay? So this is it. I hope you have seen it. So this is the look for the center front you see so it's going to be falling this way by the picture you saw on the thumbnail okay so next you're going to cut out the back now okay i'm done cutting the back as you can see this is my back. I'll also cut out my sleeve. And this is one of my sleeve. Okay. If you want to learn how to cut your basic sleeve, I'll be leaving a link at the description box. So the next thing I'm going to do is to start joining. I'm going to join the back and the front. By the way, I cut the uh, back and fold. You can see there's no opening at the back. So I'm going to join the front and the back, right side facing right side this way. I hope you are seeing it. So this is my right side, uh, my front. So from the shoulder, I will join them zero by. Uh, I will join them at the shoulder by zero point five. Yeah. See, another thing to note is that I curve my back neck, you can see, leaving my front neck straight. I'm going to join the sides, fix my sleeve, okay.
Then I'm going to finish, uh, I'm going to fold the neck, the down part, the side, using my bias tape. And I'll come back and show you the finished look. Okay, I'm done sewing. So this is my jacket. See the edges, I fold the edges using the bias tape. I hope you can see it properly. See the sides. You see it. The neck and the shoulder. I use bias tape as well. Okay, I'll go over to my mannequin and put it on on my mannequin so you can see the waterfall effect at the front. Okay. Okay, see the look on my mannequin. You can see the waterfall effect. You see. And this is my sleeve. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.